okay welcome back in this video i'm going to talk to you about joins okay this is about a select statements from the sql server okay what are the different types of joins okay let me first let me explain you what are the joins okay joins are needed because we have data in different tables okay and they are associated with the primary key and the foreign key okay and that is where the joins are created because we cannot hold all the information in a single table and the tables are divided the information is divided into the different tables and kept in the different tables and that is actually what is actually happens in the normalization of the database okay before creating any database you have to normalize the database okay now what is normalization is a very big issue very big topic okay and how do we do it from the first normal form second normal form third normal form which is a practical way and you can if you want to go by the theory you can go to the second fourth and fifth normal form okay then this is a completely different topic of normalization i'm not going to take it up right now what i'm going to show talk to you about is about joins okay now why do we need joins joins we needed because the information is kept in the different tables why is the information kept in the different tables why do you think that the information is kept in a different table then in the information is kept in a different tables because any table cannot contain all the information about everything now take for example you have a table of employee would contains the employee details okay the employee details employee name may, it may contain employee name employee of name birth date okay etc trust okay now suppose if you wanted to have a salary details okay then you may actually like to create another file which may in which you can keep the data for the salary okay and these two table whenever they you want to link up both the data you want to get the salary details of the employee you will be having a employee id in the employee table which will be a foreign key in the salary table okay now the thing is how do you actually get the information you get the information by few ways one is to use a select but you cannot use a select because the information is actually in different tables so you use a select with a joint you can use a sub query there is another way of getting the data and there is a one more way of getting the data that is correlated queries now this is sub queries and joins and correlated queries are used in a different situations practically speaking joins perform faster you can do most of the things with the joins what you can do with the sub queries or the correlated queries okay so i will take up the joins uh, what are the different types of joins oh joins are firstly basically of two types okay first i will consider one is the equi join and one is the not equi join okay what are the equi joins okay in a, we have the equi joins like we have a inner join okay and then we have a outer join now there are two different types of syntax one is the old syntax that uses a equal to between the two different tables matching the key okay i will explain it to you later and then there is a ansi syntax okay that says to ask you to use the inner join word okay okay now what are the different types of join we have a inner join then outer join let's bifurcate the outer join okay what are the different types of the outer join the outer join are of different types okay there is a left outer join and then there, there is a right outer join and then and and in the end there is a full outer full join okay now let me explain you one by one what is a equi join a equi join is a join where two tables have the same key okay and they are joined with that key okay as i already explained to you in a one table it may be a primary key in the other table it may be a foreign key let's take a example here okay select t titles sales order sales quantity from pubs dbo titles okay and these two tables are related with the title id okay title id equals to s dot in the sales also there is a title id the title id is a primary key in the titles and is a foreign key 
in the csid let's see what happens okay when we actually run this query let's copy it and run it in a new this thing okay okay now let's execute it okay now the data has been derived from two different tables and then there was a key that was present in both the tables that was the title id and on that table on that key the table was joined okay now this is the equal the thing is that when you say equal when you use a equi join the only that key matching in both the tables would be actually the data would be derived if any of the table contain a data that did not match the key that data would be left over suppose in a sales table there were actually records or in the title table there were records that did not exist in the sales those would be left over because they are no equal to title id in the other table okay usually it cannot happen in the sales table it will happen in the title table because title table contains the primary key okay now let's go to the other part second joint okay now let's see what we can do with the other joint now the join actually exists in a where clause now not only the you can create you can have a join with the equi join but you can also have a condition extra condition okay and you can add add to it okay now this this is a good example of it where there is equi join and the, the condition is ex extended still for the okay let's execute the ex sql and there we have this is another equi join which has a one more condition to attach to it okay in the where clause now let's go and see the third one okay here is one more example how the equi join is being used okay now it selects the title it sums the quantity okay from the title where title id goes as title and group by the t title id okay it uses the group okay again this is equi join okay now i think so you must have understood what is the equi join by now okay and how it works okay if you are using a sum in the sql okay remember that you have to group by the field that are there up okay otherwise it will give you an error now there are two different type of syntax you can use in the equi join okay as you can see okay from here to here okay they both produce the same results only the way there is a different way of writing this is the old syntax okay that used to exist okay let me execute the sql okay and this is the new syntax new ansa syntax okay the result is always the same only the way of writing the syntax is only the way of writing the sql is a different little bit different okay both are equivalents both will create the same result it doesn't matter how which one you use but your server should support that syntax okay the old syntax and the new syntax is supported in the sql server 2008 okay while if you use with the left or a right outer join or a full join okay this that syntax is not supported until and unless you check set the compatibility level to the at that is sql server 2000 okay again there is a this is another equi join using a multiple tables rather than a uh, two tables you can see there are mul there are multiple tables okay from the author sales title and title of four tables are being used okay they all are actually using equi join okay i'm going to execute it and see that how the different tables can be used to drive the data okay 
this is how the equijoin works okay okay this is a new syntax nothing same result again okay is it uses the uh, sas syntax okay same result it will give you okay now let's talk about a left outer join okay in the left outer join the tables that exist on the left side okay will show you all the records irrespective of whether it exist in the right side table or not okay what does it mean that all the records that are will match equally will be shown in the both the tables plus the records that will be on the left side that does not match on the right side will also be shown okay take up this example here is a left okay okay let's take this example now this is a left outer join okay i have already explained to you what is the thing now let's me execute it okay this gets executed okay there we are as you can see that there are null fields okay okay there the these fields comes from the sales tables okay you can see that all the tables all the records that have been matched in both the tables are being shown but the records that are that don't match in the sales table but exist in the title tables are also shown that what does it that is what does it mean by the left outer join means the left side of the table would be shown with the, all the records irrespective of whether it matches the right side table or not okay but if suppose if you wanted to use the older syntax you cannot use the uh, this syntax until you change the database compa compatibility so the at that's uh, sql server 2000 okay i'm going to just ch change the compatibility to at so that we can also use the older syntax this is how the older syntax was used okay now it will give you the same result no difference at all only the way how it is written few words in up and down and the result will give you the same here we are it has the same result at of all okay again we have to change back the compatibility level to the 100 that is sql server 2008 and 90 stands for 2005 in the last there is a right outer, right outer join in the right outer join what happens is all the records on the right side table are listed whether they match the left side table or not okay and from the left side table only those record will be shown that matches the right side table okay okay let's execute it and see what happens that's how it is executed okay the right side tables are being listed and you can see the null on the left side that don't they don't that don't have the matching rows okay before we end this actually session of the joins the full join would actually make all the row visible in respect of whether they match the other side table or not what does it mean is that those records that would that doesn't match the other table will be shown from the either side okay from the left side also or in the right side also and plus the records that match okay so that's what would be a full join okay let's end the join session here okay